Now let us look at what we call as co-brands. Co-branding is basically as the name suggests two powerful brands in their own space in their own category come together to leverage on their strengths without reinventing the wheel in terms of building a new brand and a new offering to the customer. You also have the big bazaar with ICICI. So you go and buy whatever you want from big bazaar and ICICI bank offers a credit card together with big bazaar and you get credit. You have Nokia joining hands with Airtel and of course how can I leave this slide without talking about our very own cricket. The IPL, yes times are changing this is also going to change very soon you will very soon see instead of DLF you will have Pepsi there because Pepsi is the new brand owner with IPL for their main offering. Now let us talk about another type where the principal brand owner offers a license to another equal partner to market their brand. So here you have Van Heusen, Alan Solly, Louis Philly, Peter England are all brands which have been given as licensee to Aditya Billa Group. So the Aditya Billa Group and the Madura Fashion and Lifestyle Company offers a whole range of brands which have been licensed to them for marketing in the local market. Manufacturers bands. From the house of Bata, the entire footwear comes under the name of Bata. They also have individual names, but they are more popularly known as Bata shoes, while the individual names could be an ambassador shoes. Titan uses the manufacturer's name, Titan watches. And similarly, you'll have from the house of Godrej, all of their products, even though they have individual names, they also call them as Godrej. They have the manufacturer's name, Godrej cupboards, Godrej locks, Godrej typewriter. This is the latest one, which is called as either own brands or store brands or even private label brands. These are basically from the modern trade segment. The modern trade are big, big retailers who have now established a business of their own. They retail a whole range of products. But apart from marketing a range of products, they also market their very own brand of products in various categories. A classic example is Walmart. Walmart markets a whole lot of our consumer goods that we buy for topping up our pantry, our kitchen on a monthly basis. Be it the yogurt, be it the butter, be it the cheese, be it the sugar, be it the salt. And all of them are called as great value. So great value happens to be what we call as a private label or a store label or an own label from the house of Walmart. Another example is from our very own group of future group, the big bazaar. They have all their individual products called and their personal, their store products as called as tasty treat. 